Factsverse presents Bride's son dies before the wedding, and the groom points to a stranger, causing her to burst into tears. Before we get into this heartbreaking story, I'll give you a moment to grab a tissue, and also while you're doing that, click the like button to let others know about this video, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. You got your tissues? Okay, here we go with the story. There is nothing more painful than losing a child. No parent should ever have to bury their child. It's a pain that never goes away. When a parent loses a child, it leaves a hole in their heart that'll last a lifetime. And while most parents manage to pick themselves up and live their new, empty life, their memories of their child and the love they shared never, ever goes away. And that's something that Becky Turner had to learn as well. Becky Turner had a son named Tristan. For 19 years, Tristan was the light of Becky's life. She watched him grow to be an amazing young man. Sadly, in October 2015, Becky's life was turned upside down. On this day, Tristan was shot accidentally and was killed. Becky got a phone call that every parent dreads. When she went to the hospital, the doctors spoke to her about organ donation. Becky didn't want Tristan's death to be in vain. She knew how many lives her son's organs could save. She also knew that donating his organs was something that Tristan would have wanted. Becky went through the darkest time of her life, but fortunately, she had her fiancé, Kelly, right there by her side to help her through the loss. After a period of intense grieving, Becky and Kelly were about to get married in Alaska. Becky was thrilled to be marrying the man of her dreams, but the fact that Tristan wouldn't be there to see his mother's dream come true put a damper on her day. She did her best to be happy, but Tristan's memory did make it hard. Becky wanted to carry a piece of Tristan with her that day, so she had some small photos of Tristan framed, and she worked them into her flower bouquet. She hoped that he was with her in spirit that day, but being able to walk down the aisle holding those photos, it made her feel a bit closer to him regardless. When the chairs were set up for the ceremony, there was one seat that was reserved. It was for Tristan. On Tristan's assigned seat, there was a blue sign with pink letters. What it read was so beautiful that it left every guest in tears. The sign read, I'm in heaven for your wedding, so what shall I do? I'll come down to earth to spend it with you. So save me a seat, just one empty chair. You may not see me, but I will be there. The sign was a gift from a loved one, and Becky thought it was the best part of the wedding. This is because she had no idea what Kelly had planned. Kelly wanted to do something special for Becky on their wedding day, so he tracked down 21-year-old Jacob Kilby. Becky had never met Jacob Kilby. She didn't even know his name or his face. While she didn't know Jacob, though, she still had a connection with him, because when Tristan died, Tristan's heart went to Jacob. Tristan and Becky were the reasons why Jacob Kilby was still alive. Kelly tracked him down and asked him to come to the wedding. Jacob was more than willing to attend. In fact, he traveled over 480 miles to be there. Jacob introduced himself to Becky, and he handed her a stethoscope. Becky put it against Jacob's heart, and she heard her son's heartbeat for the first time since she lost him. It was the closest thing to having her son at her wedding. Becky says that Jacob being there was by far the best wedding present she ever could have asked for. After the wedding, Becky posted a photo of her listening to Tristan's heart on her Facebook page. She included a short story about the amazing gift that her new husband had given her. The post quickly went viral, and within the first few days it had over 110,000 likes. People from all over the world were sending the bride their well wishes and many reminded her what an amazing husband she had for doing that for her. Becky says that she is incredibly grateful to have a man like Kelly in her life. He understood the importance of having the memory of her son at the wedding, and he practically moved mountains to make that dream come true. Becky's son was able to save many lives with his organs, and everybody should consider giving the gift that Tristan did when it comes time for them to leave this earth. Being an organ donor is one of the most amazing gifts a person can ever give. Learn how to become an organ donor by going to organdonor.gov. That's organdonor.gov. And subscribe for more.